Loco. 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 You are about to enter a place you've never been before. A place where dreams are made reality. And now, now, now. welcome to the one and the only, only DITC Social with your host, Andre Prue M. Powered by BlasterRadio.com, Gatno.tv, and Angelic Empowerment International. Bonsoir. Good evening, everybody. My name is Andre Pru. Welcome to DITC Social. I'm going to hit play on my teleprompter. Uh, live on Facebook, Twitch, YouTube, and BlasterRadio.com. I am so glad to have you all joining me this evening. Uh, tonight, we're going to be discussing some hot topics, but keeping them light and fluffy and taking some of your questions. So feel free to comment on whatever platform that you are on, and we'll bring you into the conversation. Ce soir, nous discutons de certains sujets, mais en les gardant légers et amusants et en répondant à certaines de vos questions. Alors, n'hésitez pas de faire part avec vos commentaires, quel que ce soit, sur la plateforme sur laquelle que vous vous trouvez et nous vous ferons participer à la conversation. Before I get going, I'd like to pay respect to the Algonquin people who, the are, who are the traditional guardians of this land. We acknowledge their long-standing relationship with this territory, which remains unceded. We pay respect to all Indigenous peoples in this region from all nations across Canada who call Ottawa home. We acknowledge the traditional knowledge keepers, both young and old, and we honour their courageous leaders past, present and future. Nous rendons hommage aux peuples autochtones algonquins, gardiens traditionnels de cette terre. Nous reconnaissons le lien sacré de longue date l'unissant à ce que territoire demeure non cédé. Nous rendons également hommage à tous les peuples autochtones qui habitent Ottawa, que ce soit de la région ou d'ailleurs au Canada. Nous reconnaissons les gardiens des savoirs traditionnels, jeunes et âgés. Et nous honorons aussi la courageux dirigeant d'hier, d'aujourd'hui et de demain. I want to preface this conversation that we're. Uh, I want to preface this conversation by stating that this is a safe space, and that our conversation today is based on mutual respect, openness, and understanding. Je tiens à préciser que nous sommes dans un contexte sécuritaire et que la conversation d'aujourd'hui se doit être imprégnée de respect mutuel, d'ouverture et de compréhension. Some of the show is live and some of it is pre-recorded, uh, but you can still comment on any part uh, that you see uh, and your conversation may appear on screen and we can reply to you as well via the conversation. But allow us to have a more fun and interactive show. Uh, so I've got some amazing videos already created and we got some great guests coming up tonight. Tonight on DITC Social Live, we will talk to uh, Kara, who is a radiance by nature that includes Misha body butter uh, that I've been using for the last couple of days. Uh, and we also get an affirmation from Lillian from where I sit. And we actually get to sit down and talk to her and get the 411 on who she really is. What makes Lillian tick? As well as Shady B and G are here with the uh, recap for the RuPaul's Drag Race for last week. DITC Social is an LGBTQ2 plus news and entertainment style show featuring the hottest news in the media and amazing topics surrounding the community. So now I'm going to pause this script uh, because although a lot of it is scripted, it's only because I want to make sure I don't lose my marbles, which I think I've already lost. Jeffrey is saying hello. He's coming up very shortly. And Julie is watching. Thank you so much, my darling, for watching. Uh, I really appreciate all of you who watch every week uh, and who've been watching the videos, whether even if it's not live and you're still coming up and watching the shows, uh, we're getting a good 300 views every episode. So I appreciate you all. Uh, we all know that uh, the announcement today, again, uh, it has changed nothing for me. I've been stuck at home for the last year. Um, and we, if we want to have a summer, then we've got to do this. And we've got this. You've got this. Uh, if you are having any issues, uh, please send a message to me. My door is always open. Yes and no. Uh, my virtual door. Uh, are you into bird watching? Because I've been seeing that on social media. Uh, a lot of people are getting into the bird watching where they're watching 
um, all the birds outside. Uh, we've got a couple of bird feeders in the backyard, and I'm so blessed. I see a, a red cardinal almost every day keeps coming to visit, uh, and there's lots of little tiny birds. The cats are going ballistic, and I actually sit there and watch the cats more than anything, too. Uh, as well, uh, so the stay-at-home order, uh, there's no need to panic because Blast the Radio has got you covered. Uh, we've got John the Milkman Milky every morning with the morning brew ha ha from uh, 9 a.m. to 10.30, followed by the bigger, better boogie break that gets your butt out of your chair every morning at 10.30. Uh, and he plays a really amazing mix that brings me back to the icon days, uh, brings me to the good times when we were having some fun. Uh, and I lift up my workstation and I uh, work and shake my rump at the same time. And it gets you out of meetings. So I try not to book meetings between 10 and 10.30, sometimes 11.30. So just a little FYI. As well as Lowell Green is on the radio every day at 2 p.m. Uh, there's really no holds bars with him. Uh, I watch at 2 o'clock and I listen. Because uh, if you go to twitch.tv, blast the radio, uh, twitch.tv slash blast the radio, you get to watch Lowell. Uh, and he has aged and he is an amazing reporter. And it's so cool to be watching him, uh, I do have to say. Uh, he makes me laugh and smile. And this is exactly what we need. One person getting angry for all of us is all we really need, but we all need to. It's not necessarily being angry. It's uh, telling it like it is. That's You can't promote him any better than that. He, tell, he tells it like it is. After me on BTR is what she said. Uh, it's an, another way uh, at today's woman uh, in ways that you've never thought. So they, they talk. I, I believe it's kind of like a, a view version of... Uh, BTR. It's an amazing, there's always some amazing programming. Of course, D DJ Zimo Wee, which is here every Sunday, but you're going to get a little promo of him later on. So uh, I appreciate you all being here. If you haven't seen uh, the series from M. Night Shyamalan called Servant, <laughs> now that's a little mind twister. Uh, there's two seasons, which uh, we've watched on Apple TV. Uh, it's different, very different. Gets your mind going. And I'm going to talk about that a little more when Lillian is coming up. The Masked Singer, well, I haven't been doing the recaps because I actually don't want to ruin it. I want people to go and watch it. I know my neighbor is a little upset with me because I posted that I liked it. And now he's watching it. Uh, and there's been a lot of great performers. Uh, I try and guess who the singer is. Uh, and, you know, Black Swan, she's going to take it all. So far, she is my front runner. Not just because I have an event company called Black Swan, but because she is awesome. Well, it's that time, folks. Uh, to all of you who do not want a spoiler alert for RuPaul's, it's time for Shady B and G, and it's time for another Frock and Roo cap. Here we go. Hey, everybody, what's going on? I'm Theo Tams, and you are watching Diversity in the Capital.tv. Greetings, Ottawa, Canada. This is Chad Michaels from RuPaul's Drag Race. Hi, Ottawa and Gatineau. I'm Carol Pope, and you're watching Diversity in the Cap Capital. Hello, Ottawa. It's your girl, Sofonda. Hey, it's Eva Avila. Hi, I'm Ria May, and you're watching Diversity in the Capital TV. Diversity in the Capital TV. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Girl, the shade, the shade of it all. DITC Socials, another Frogging Roo Cap episode with Shady B and G. and G. New episode will start now. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the show. Hey, G, how's it going? Uh, good. How are you? Hello. Oh, I'm doing great. It's a fabulous, balmy 19 degrees out there today, and I'm in long sleeves. I, <laughs> I know. I actually went for a walk and thought I should have been in shorts. It was that mm -hmm. warm. Nice. Well, after the show, I'll be going for a walk. Uh, but let's talk about this week, or last week, I should say, on RuPaul. Last week. Yes. Uh, last week, we had our 
final five. Our yeah. final five queens. Mini Maybe challenge that. this week was nada. We had so much to get into this main challenge. They started it right away. Um, main challenge. Er, they have to star in this sci-fi adventure. Henny, I shrunk the drag queens. <laughs> Um, fun concept. Here's a picture, I guess you can see. Uh, one large drag queen for tiny, tiny drag queens. Um, I don't know, what, what was your initial thought on this episode? Um, well, Candy looks her best in this episode as we see her right now in this black gown. This particular outfit picture frame, yes. I will be honest, I was disappointed in general with this outfit because it's very basic and it, it didn't fit as well as it should have, I think. Personally. I get it, but I liked it. It's her best look for the night. <laughs> um, overall, I think the Queens did really well. I was amused through the whole entire uh, show. They all acted uh, very well at their parts. Uh, I kind of well, feel they all played their own similar character that they're known for that we've seen like six times over already. So I, I think that was the movie. challenge for them though. You think that was the, the challenge? The character descriptions were very similar to the characters they have. So like oh. the the descriptions of each of the, the roles, I think were very mirrored towards each of the Queens. And we okay. saw that most of them gravitated towards their own personality uh right. olivia wanted to be the cutesy nice one candy wanted to be the villain which she has been portrayed as the villain rose jumped at being the sassy exasperated one mick was the pretty what? you know what? like what? When they were talking about all of it, they like the characters were geared towards their personalities. I think the challenge was maybe switching it up, which Simone wanted to be the villain. I think that was the big drama of, of the drama. episode. <laughs> um, and Candy also wanted to be the villain. I thought it was funny because Candy made mention of Olivia wanting to be the cutesy one and saying, you know, switch it up and do something different. But Candy then goes on her interview and says, I want the one that's exactly like me. <laughs> so, like, take your own advice, maybe. Um, Candy ended up winning. She got her, not winning the challenge, but she got the role she wanted. Um, Let's clarify that for the, the viewers at home. Make sure that they uh, don't think we watched a different RuPaul than they did. <laughs> um, yeah, Candy, uh, I, she did well. I think she was sassy. She acted very well. Rose, of course, took the show with her strong acting skills. Uh, Simone did great as well, I found. But with Simone, I feel like I'm getting the same thing from the commercial. It's that same voice that she always so goes in. Eh, she does seem to have a on-camera persona that she's developed. Um, I think what the reason we notice it more is is where Candy, I don't think she's delivered a lot of versatility in these challenges. She's usually just being the character she's developed for herself. But we see it all the time, I guess. Whereas Simone, you're seeing that like character come out. Um, but I agree, she needs to diversify it up a bit because it is getting stale. They also, I feel like this episode, they tried to really direct us to think like, ooh, Simone's gonna go home, Simone's gonna go home. Well, they led us last week, that's where they ended with Simone crying and going, I don't want this to be my story. So it's like, oh my goodness, what happens? Is she, is she in the bottom? Is she going out this week? Like, oh my God, what's the drama with Simone? To only find out that Simone is in the same family as um, who was in second place, I believe, last year, which is, her name is Escaping Me, Gigi. Gigi Good. Is. There we are. Thank you. I remembered. I should get a you prize. You remembered. You should. I got to send you a trophy. You should. I um, actually didn't know that either. I learned this last week as well. Um, they also posted, so there's a whole house of them, House of Avalon, I believe. Yeah, the House um, of Avalon. So she didn't want to disappoint uh, the Gigi and the Avalon family with her appearance on RuPaul this season. 
and she didn't want that to be her story of being a disappointment. Uh, so that's why we saw her last week in tears. But I don't know. Simone pretty much delivered pretty darn good this I, week. I thought if I mean if they'd given her the win, I wouldn't have doubted it. I think all of them actually did okay in what they were given. Um, the judges talk about, you know, one note characters sometimes like with Olivia, especially here. Um, I don't know. Maybe the character isn't written to be more than one note though. Like maybe. you can only do so much if the script you're given is, is, you know, one note. I don't know. Let's see. Let's ask the audience. Uh, who watched the show last week? And what do you all think? Did, Did anyone have any other, other work to win? Um, yeah. well, here's our runway outfits. So, yeah, the runway challenge. Um, oat pockets. <laughs> what do you want? Like hot pockets? pockets. But, like some sort of drag? Well, I, I guess like hot pockets and then maybe like oak tour. <laughs> yeah. Well, something's a little funny there. Oh, oh we have Cameron. a Cameron. I was worried about Simone after the preview last week, too. Glad she did great after all. Agreed. I was worried. And then again, I feel like as soon as the episode started, they were trying to push that story. Like, ooh, is Simone in trouble? Simone in trouble. She going home this and week. I'm just like, oh, my God. If she goes home, I'm going to stop watching. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to take it. She is uh, Team Simone for the week. I am Team crown. Multiple, actually. I could – any one of these three on the screen, if they won, I would, I would be okay with. I think Rosé is my third. Um, I don't know who I want. I, I think I've been team Simone since day one, but Gottmik has really grown on me. And I mean, it's performed really well all season. Um, well, and sorry, I'll throw it out here. I was team Simone from the beginning too, but I am no longer team Simone. I feel like she's delivered everything she could. I know ever since like, I don't know, snatch game. It feels like it's uh, kind of the same for me. Rosé, she's gotten better every week. At the beginning of the show, I thought she was just another pearl and just, eh. But like, oh my goodness, no, Rosé is amazing. Candy okay. is surprising me. I'm like, candy's growing on me. Like, I would actually eat that candy. Um, but all I mean, yours. All mine, she's, I guess. She's, she's not so grown candy. on me. <laughs> I find Candy has calmed down a bit. She's funnier now. Um, there's this Brooklyn thing that she was doing at the beginning has kind of gone away and now she's just a comedy queen. Of course, her outfit this week was not a good outfit for the runway. And I was actually really proud of Candy to say that she doesn't feel pretty in this outfit. It made me realize that they get ready for these episodes like months in advance before coming on. And we're getting down to almost like their final outfits that they brought with them. So I can understand that like nine months ago when you were, I don't know, a level one drag queen back in New York, you thought this was gorgeous. But now that you've progressed and became a better drag queen over the season, they put something on this, put something like this on you now and you feel like, eh, I'm not so pretty anymore. And I think she would probably would have chose something completely different. <laughs> I'm just seeing Miss Madge's uh, comment here. Candy, it's a Sour Patch Kid. <laughs> Well, I don't know. Is that good or bad, though? Because I, I enjoy Sour Patch Kids as a kid. She is sour. And I don't know. I, I definitely understand where you're coming from with Candy and, like, Queens in general. I do agree Rosé has grown on me. She's definitely progressed and shown, like, development. Candy, I'm still seen as one note. I'm still seen... Like, A, her personality is is very much her, so it's not that she's doing someone else, but, like, I just feel that her character is not new or fresh. And she is too um, obnoxious. I mean, I know there's a whole thing from, you know, feels like months ago at this point. <laughs> but she's too, you know, if you don't agree with her, she jumps down your throat. And, and I just don't, I just don't follow that, that. Way of um, I like her lip sync this week. I think she did funny with Olivia. There was like a little hand kiss and like waving her goodbye. Uh, for those who don't remember, they danced to Strong Enough by Cher, which I think is a great drag song, by the way. Yeah, um, definitely good lip sync. Um, but let's talk about what we're seeing here. I see Andre just changed the screen. So yeah, this is the outfit that Candy wore down the runway. Uh, it's Rich. Hot Pockets. 
it's not attractive at all, even as some sort of, I don't even know what to call this, inspirational fashion. I, uh, I'm not even sure. And then you've got Olivia here who's in this beautiful gown. It's beautiful. It's not a gown, but it's beautiful. But there's no pockets. Where's the pockets? Beautiful. I don't think Olivia's looked better all season, but exactly. I'd like, yes, she had her hoop there that she had her hands in. Like it was po pockets, but it's not oat pockets. It's not showcasing the pocket and like again going back to candy for a second here her makeup is terrible oh, it's a very cliche drag term to use but yeah, all season her terrible. makeup's never terrible. been good her wig's garbage her outfit's just I, I i know she knows she doesn't look good but like again we're this is top five i'm sorry that's not top five. They should have come out in something that's not even a pocket, really. Like, just drop the whole outfit and just come out with a beautiful gown. I think Rue would forgive you for not coming down the runway in the theme of the week, as long as you look good. I think it's better to look mm. good and be out of theme than to be in theme and look bad. Well, I mean, that takes us to Olivia. Olivia looks great. I think Olivia looked... I mean, like, literally, like, that outfit is gorgeous. Beautiful. Beautiful. The dress is just beautiful fits her like a glove her hair is fantastic her makeup's one like this is a beautiful outfit yeah, so but it didn't mean the challenge either way olivia and candy sing it was a great lip sync i think they mm -hmm. both performed well but i knew olivia was i mean it was her time it was her time to go <laughs> um well, I mean, Candy's already gone home, let's be real. So it was also her time to go. There, there, again, maybe I'm seeing a different Candy than everyone else. I don't know. There's maybe. a lot of controversy with her online, too. A lot of queens are like Team Candy, a lot aren't, you know? Well, that's, what it's, that's what it's like with these queens. You either like them or you hate them. Um, so let's talk about the final four. So now that we know the final four, we can almost start talking about who we think we're going to win and start asking people at home. Uh, who are they who are they rooting for? Are you team Got Mick, Team Simone, Team Rose, Team Candy? Uh, just to give you some ideas though, uh, in dollar values of who has won what, uh, Got Mick has won ten thousand dollars, Simone has won twenty thousand dollars, Rose has won fifteen thousand dollars, and Candy Muse has won a meaningless five grand. So we got twenty for Simone at the top. Then you got Rose at 15, got Mick at 10, and Candy at five. And as so, for wins, we have uh, got Mick for two wins, Candy at one win, Rose at three wins, and Simone with four wins. And wins aren't everything, though. Hi, guys. Rose, report card wise, does have the highest marks right now. Who does? Rose. You think Rose does? She in if you add up all their weeks of bottom top middle safe win, oh, yeah. Rose oh, yeah. is in the lead. Oh, but we will, that doesn't mean anything. It means nothing. Ru RuPaul will just choose whoever she wants. <laughs> so I have a question for you both. So is it got Mick or is it got milk? I thought it was got milk. Got Mick. 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 Got Mick. Because she's you taking the Mick out of someone. Like so, can you explain her drag name? Do you know? I don't. I don't know the reference oh. per se. I see. There's a challenge for next week. I'll come. I'll come prepared with the answer. So that would be great. Like, let's find out. Like now that we're getting down to the bottom, let's find out everything about them and and find out how they got their drag name, why they're there, and do they deserve to be there? Huh? Yeah. Well, well, so yeah, next week. week no, uh, it's the reunion show. I'm pretty sure. It is a reunion show. I looked it up. Yeah. So they're usually pretty boring. I normally don't watch them. <laughs> the reunions? You don't watch the reunions? I just I find it's a lot of should. drama. It's a lot of bickering, and it's just not really my thing. All right. Well, then I will watch it, and then we can have a chat next week about it. Similar, though, to Untucked, if you're not watching the reunion, you might not be getting the full story. What? I think there's a lot to unpack in the reunion. I think we're going to see a lot... Um, a lot of stuff come out. Okay. We shall see. Maybe I'll All watch right. this if you're doing this. Uh, but the finale is in two weeks. All um, right. And 
that week's episode is going to be the synopsis. Well, the show is called Getting Lucky, and it's uh, the queens write and record lyrics as they perform in the world premiere of RuPaul's new song, Lucky. Oh, every time I hear that, I think of Britney Spears. She's a so She's a star. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's amazing. Uh, thank you both again for being here. I, I really, you guys are both getting me into the uh, the Rue fever. I watched AJ and the Queen, and I do have to say, oh, I loved it. Yeah, I, I loved, loved it, it, loved too. it. You love I'm really right? disappointed with Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, yeah, I marathoned it in four days or three days, probably not even. Uh, but I love the outfits, and it made me want to like, oh my god, Horizon needs to get. We need to do a show. It's uh, Twitch TV. Watch out because we're gonna do a drag show coming up there in the next month. We're gonna be locked down for a month. Let's do a freaking show. I say. Maybe we should do a live smashing. Oh, <laughs> and I, I think Miss Madge in that who's watching, she'd be into that too. Miss Madge, hello. Yes, yeah, we can actually, play that's that? a great idea. We can do our own DITC snatch game. There you go. There's an idea. That would be fun. All right. Well, thank you both for being here. I appreciate it. Uh, we will see you next week. We'll see you next week. Uh, so I'm going to watch that. Uh, the what was it again? The re reunion. reunion. <laughs> oh wait, I gotta go back to comments. Yeah, because I've got to go from one tab to the other. Oh yes, ma'am. Oh, Miss yes, Madge is in. Madge is in. in. She's yes. in. So let's work we on some to. girls. We need to get Miss Vaselina in too. Should be a hoot. Oh my god! Yeah, I haven't heard, I haven't seen her in a long time. Actually, that would be really good. Uh, thank you both for being here. Uh, if you or your business wants to be part uh, of Diversity in the Capital, you can send me an email to diversityinthecapital.tv, which uh, is right there on the screen. Thank you, Shady, G uh, Shady B and G. I will see you both next week again uh, for the reunion. Bye. Bye. Uh, well, We've got uh, a commercial coming up, and we've got the beautiful Cara uh, Adams, who's going to be here. Uh, and yes, she's here right after this on diversitycapital.tv. Gatineau.tv is partout in Outaouais, autant au niveau de la culture, de l'événementiel, mais aussi au niveau de vos entreprises. Si vous avez un projet spécial que vous aimeriez promouvoir, un événement que vous avez créé, eh bien, n'hésitez pas à parler avec un de nos représentants à Gatineau.tv. Vous pouvez nous écrire à via notre adresse info à commercial Gatineau.tv. Vous aussi, prenez avantage de Gatineau.tv. Gatineau.tv All right. My first guest this evening is Kara Adams. Whether she's formulating her luxurious and natural skincare line or singing and performing on television or the stage, she's committed to giving the best of what she's got. Kara is here to share her passion for all natural skincare and hopes to encourage more folks to take in an interest in taking care of their skin. Men and women, all of y'all, need to take self-love, and it starts with yo face. Originally from New Brunswick on the east coast of Canada, Kara now lives in Toronto with her husband, Justin. She enjoys a parallel career as a singer, actress, voice coach, and musical theater performer. Oh my God, she's like the perfect best friend ever. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome... Kara Adams. Good evening, Kara. How are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Uh, so we're going to get into it that I've been using your products for the last, uh, well, it's been several weeks, but not as high intense as the last week. Uh, how are you? I'm great. I'm busy. <laughs> but you know, I think everyone is. Um, I just finished teaching, <laughs> so I, my double busy life. Busy bee, yes, we're all busy bees. Uh, Julie is chiming in uh, that uh, her entire, half her budget is devoted to skincare. So uh, we can talk about uh, what I've been doing. Uh, so you have some products for men and I've been sent a few. Do you want to tell the folks about them? And I'm sure. going to play a little clip of uh, me putting on some skincare products. Sure, sure. So um, 
I have a couple of products that men tend to really like. Um, I think the first one you're showing is the uh, video dry rub of the dry face wash, right? Yeah. So yeah, so this is the product here. He just showed it. So um, what that's good for is um, you can use it as a wash or you can use it as a mask. And it's gentle enough um, that you can use twice a day. Um, <laughs> I'm going to show you the texture. You can see it on your face. You are doing such a great job. Um, so it's super, super fine. It kind of looks like my friend said it kind of reminded her of icing sugar. Okay, yes. So even though it's soft like that, it still is it's still exfoliating. Um, and what it's all what it's good for is it helps to clean your pores. Yep. Um, it doesn't take blackheads away. That's a misconception, but it does help to prevent blackheads from appearing. It's okay. also excellent for acne. So anyone that Ooh. has um, acne, um, rosacea, very good for it as well. The oatmeal in it is um, a humectant, but it also is good for inflammation. Yep. And then there's honey powder, sandalwood powder, which is divine, and mm -hmm. uh, two different types of clay. Um, so, so that would explain why it becomes a really strong mask after a while. Yeah. Right? Yes. And it's not going to, um, well, what was your experience? Did you find it, it was, did it pull or tighten or was it, did you just feel, how was it? Uh, so basically, um, I did it once before I shaved, uh, the full beard the other day. So, uh, I put a little time, I sprinkled some into a, like a little, uh, Tupperware and then I added a drop of water and mixed it in and then added more just to make a paste. Uh, it was more of a gooey, it looked like pea soup kind of paste. And it does have a weird smell, uh, but it it actually, so I pulled my bags up and put it all over my face, all the way down to my neck. Uh, and then I just sat there. And the more I sat there, because you leave it on for 15 minutes, right? Uh, and the more I sat there and I started, you know, to move the eyebrows and you could feel the entire, you like your entire face goes with it. It was, it was kind of cool. <laughs> you know, it's also great. Um, I've had mornings where I wake up and um, I haven't had a good night's sleep or yeah. maybe had a couple too few glasses of, oh, too many glasses of wine. Um, and I, I have a bit of puffiness under here. And I find doing a mask in the morning mm. um, is great because it, it really helps with the puffy. And it almost like... <sighs> kind of like sucks out the extra um, fluid that's accumulated, the, yes. the, the clay. So I find that's like, for me, that's the first thing I'll do after a night of indulgence or of not sleeping very well. Yep. Um, and the smell is, so it can't, I mean, some people love the smell. Um, I've had people go, oh, I love the earthiness of it. Mm -hmm. And I think it's like, it's the oatmeal with the sandalwood. Yes. Um, that kind of, you know, gives it that. So it's not like, off-putting um but it's definitely it's it's earthy right and and it's it's all natural and it's earthy and um so i mean like a lot of people are probably used to those fruity masks that you like smell like peaches or smell like watermelon or whatever but yes. for me putting that on it made me feel like i actually was doing something good to myself yes. right like it wasn't just to smell like fruit <laughs> because one of the creams that i put on after uh, with the sandalwood. Oh my God. I love that one. I know that it honestly, smells so good. That's one of our top sellers. Um, the sandalwood, um, luxury cream is phenomenal. It has ingredients in it that are anti-aging. Um, there's yeah. ingredients also, and what's, what's good is, um, well, some people think, oh, well I have oily skin, so I shouldn't moisturize. Um, and that's a myth. Um, a lot of the time, people with oily skin, it's they there's oil, they overproduce oil because their skin is lacking in oil. Um, yeah. And the sandalwood essential oil that's in it, the pure essential sandalwood that I put in it, actually helps with oil control. So oh, it just smells so good after. Like even the cats come up to me and they smell my face. And they're like, <laughs> I was like, ooh, because I love. Uh, so here's some more of your products too. There's the sandalwood, uh, the body butter. Body butter. Uh, mm -hmm. So do you have any products with, um, oh my goodness, uh, lilac? Uh, unfortunately, I don't. Lilac is my absolute favorite smell in the entire world. Yeah, mine too. Um, 
it's New Brunswick. My grandmother had tons and tons of lilac trees on the backyard. And that was one of my, the signs of, you know, the warmer weather coming and that smell at night, you know, when you open your window. Yeah. Um, loved it. Um, there's no, um, that I know of pure essential oil of, of lilac because they're so, so tiny. Their st stymen are so mm -hmm. small that it's hard yeah. to extract the essential oil from it. So if you are getting- And they don't last long either. They're only here for a couple of weeks. <laughs> I know, it's so short. It's, it's So you have to soak it up. <laughs> um, yeah. So if you're getting products with lilac in it, um, it's synthetic fragrance. And there, I mean, there are some products out there that are that have really got it down and the smell is truly beautiful. And then they mix in other pure essential oils with it. Yes, um, but it's it's hard. Yeah. So because I keep my line 100 percent natural, I only use your essential oils, um, your essential oils. OK, so yeah. we've got a comment here from Denise. Uh, we've been using Kara's products for years. I'm over 60 and people comment on how my skin looks good all the time. Great interview on both parts. Woot woot. Denise, thank you so much. I know I, every time I put this on, I feel like I'm 20 years younger and then I <laughs> shaved. So I had another 10. So, oh, I wanted yeah. to mention um, about the shaving, um, using the dry face wash before you shave actually helps because um, it removes the dry layer of skin. So when you yes. go to shave, you'll get a closer shave. Did you find that, Andre? Uh, I did. Well, so what I did is I put the mask on and then waited the 15 minutes and then I took a shower. Hmm. So then I showered and then, <clears throat> excuse me, I showered and then washed it all off. And then I came out to do my shaving. That's fantastic. Yeah. Um, oh, often, no. Well, when I'm really like in the morning, um, I'll put I put the uh, wash and do the mask. And, you know, while I'm getting my clothes out for the day and figure out what I'm going to wear and put the coffee on and the rest yeah. of it, I have the mask on. So then when I jump in the shower, after I wash my hair, I'll take it off. And yeah, because it goes in your hair, too. <clears throat> yeah. So well, I usually have like my headband on, but if I'm getting the shower, I <laughs> Yeah. not a big deal um yeah. but what people but you can also use it just to wash your face so you don't have to leave it on for the mask so yes. um, if you're using it twice a day you can just use it um and what you said is a, a great tip um normally i just take a little bit put my hand out a little water make a paste oh, or okay you can do what you did um andre which is really great put it in a little container and mix up a, like enough for like a couple days put it in the free in the fridge and then oh, okay. I never thought of that. And then mix it fresh. Yeah. Um, well, I'm putting about like a, cause it said like a quarter style, right? So I just sprinkle a little bit because well, I'm an, I'm a queen. So <laughs> I, I've got face powder and that's what it reminds me of actually is a translucent face powder. Oh yeah, that's right. And then I just sprinkle some in and then I just turn the tap on and put a little dab and then stop. And that's then I, I keep too. adding a little more powder just to create my paste. But, mm -hmm. uh, and you can, so we got some comments. And Andre, you can put it anywhere in your body. Um, if you, you oh. Can, oh, oh yeah. <laughs> well, you better send I mean, me a bucket now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've got Bernice saying hello from New Brunswick. Hi, Bernice. Nice to see you. Elena, good on you, Kara. And then we got Julie exfoliate before shaving. Yes, uh, and and I generally like to. Um, I don't know. I, I, I've been using another product from another company who is very homophobic and I stopped buying oh. their, their skin products. So uh, I'm very glad. I thank you so much for these products. I am going to go through your site and I'm going to, to pamper myself uh, and get a few other things as well. I love it. Bonjour, Luca. Comment ça va? Uh, we got another question for you. So uh, with all the hand sanitizing and hand washing, Mm -hmm. My hands are raw. Uh, do oh, you yeah. have anything that would help keep them moisturized or repair them? Oh, for sure. Um, my top um, moisturizing protective cream is our ultra rich cream right yep. here. And it comes in three scents, uh, Florissima, which is jasmine with a little bit of geranium, orange oh. blossom, which is neroli and bergamot, and you, um, evergreen goddess, which is uh, eucalyptus and peppermint. And I also have unscented for people who don't like scent um, or who are Ooh. sensitive. Okay. Um, and the reason um, it's so great is that it's nice and rich and thick. Um, yep. There's beeswax in it, which is great. It, that's what gives you kind of a protective layer and locks it in. Um, but there's the ingredients in the ultra rich cream are 
roasted seed, evening primrose, jojoba, vitamin E, wow. um, pure essential oils. Um, and then depending mm -hmm. on, on the cream, like um, a hydrosol of that, of that essential oil. And yep. roasted seed and evening primrose are two ingredients that are excellent for dry skin. Okay. Also, very, very good for people who have eczema. So if you have eczema, oh. mm -hmm. so roasted seed and evening primrose actually are two oils that help eczema. I actually have quite a few clients that use the cream um, okay. and have stopped using their cortisone cream. Oh, wow. Because really, the cortisone cream really thins out your skin. Yep. Um, now, if you're having a big flare up, I wouldn't put it on top of that. You definitely have to wait till your skin calms down. Yeah, before. What I suggest is, you know, use the cream regularly to prevent the flare ups. Okay. All and right. We've got a few minutes left. Uh, sure. People are asking for the link. So we're going to get you to put the link in the chat after, and then we can uh, put that up. Uh, we also got Denise saying, oh, we love her extra rich cream. My 89 year old mother loves it, and all of her products go a long way. Uh, and then a little bit is all you need. Yes, they're very concentrated. So you need so little of any of the creams or the body butter. Like, yeah, very little is needed. So they last. Do you do baskets as well? Somebody, Mario's asking if you do baskets. Oh, um, I can custom. Um, if people write me um, personally and they want to okay. put something together, I can definitely do that. Um, all right. For Valentine's Day, I had a special package. Yeah. Um, that was like the bath salt with the bubble bath. For Mother's Day, um, watch the website. We have a special jasmine. Oh, that's right. Mother's Day is coming. We have a special jasmine cream coming oh. out for Mother's Day and a jasmine toner. And that'll be a special price, like a, a special um, savings on that. Um, Do you and have, have anything with lavender? Well, I was just going to say, check the limited addiction. Uh, sorry, not addiction. <laughs> <laughs> I'm addicted to lavender. It's limited. supposed to help you sleep really well. Limited edition section of my website. I am going to be um, coming out with a lavender body butter. Sign in me the up. Next, uh -huh, in the next week or so. So watch for it there. Check the limited edition session. And there's okay. also right now a lemongrass cream and a lemongrass sugar scrub. Um, those are new scents um, that are in that section as well. All right. Well, Kara, thank you so much for being here. There's lots of buzz in the chat uh, going on about you. So get to chatting with those folks and get them to your products. I, uh, will. Oh, I okay. really can we what? do a giveaway? We, of course, we can. Of course, we can. How about the first person to comment on Kara's side love is? <laughs> what else is she known for besides uh, skincare products? First person to comment will win the same three products that I got, uh, which is the, go ahead. Misha body butter. Yep. The luxury dry face wash mask. Yep. And the sandalwood luxury face cream. And the sandalwood luxury face cream. All right, y'all. Uh, oh, Bernice. Ah, she's, she's right. I'm a singer. You Kara is a singer as well. So we're going to put her YouTube info on here. Next time we're going to have you come up. When I do that drag show, you're going to come and sing with us. I would love to. Yes, you'll come and yes. be part of the, the live. It's it's not just drag. It'll be a live and drag show. So uh, thank you, Kara, so much for thank being here. You. I appreciate it. We've got a few more things to get going in the show, but I really do appreciate all the products and I look forward to purchasing more myself. Thank you, Andre. It was so fun. My pleasure. We got Jeunesse Idem coming up with a quick commercial and we've got Lillian Carrière coming up right after this. Bonjour DTC Social, ici Alex de Jeunesse Idem. Malheureusement, la pandémie de la COVID-19 a forcé beaucoup de jeunes LGBTQ il y a de plus à s'isoler, que ce soit mentalement, socialement ou d'une autre façon. Jeunesse Idem est là pour vous. Nous sommes la ressource pour les jeunes allosexuels de la région de l'Outaouais. On t'encourage à participer à nos groupes de soutien pour nos jeunes de 14 à 25 ans, de prendre en compte avec moi de façon individuelle ou de recommander l'organisme à quelqu'un qui pourrait en avoir de besoin. Pour plus d'informations, tape Jeunesse Idem sur Facebook ou Instagram. Bon, ben, uh, Jeunesse Idem, that is one of the best and biggest uh, organizations here in the Ottawa Gatineau region that I, I, I can, I'll take my shirt off for them. And I have, and I've taken my bra and my panties and my, 
nylons off for them. I raised over seventeen thousand dollars for Jeunesse Dem, and I, I really appreciate uh, everything that they stand for. So, if uh, if you're if you got little ones and you're not quite understanding what you need to do or can do for them, uh, contact Jeunesse Dem. They are English as well, so they'll they'll help everybody and anybody. Right, my next guest is being interviewed again uh, every once in a while i bring her on lillian is here tonight to finally tell her side of the story no reading just a beautiful soul lillian lillian carriere is also the host of angelic empowerment international network executive producer and independent networker uh, and business coaching uh, coaching or coaching mentor uh, with live broadcasts on twitch youtube facebook pages facebook groups pinterest mix and reddit Oh my God, I got to breathe after all that. There are so many ways to see her and what she's got going on in the, uh, on social media and everything. I adore her to pieces. She saw me the other day and she's like, you're looking rough. You need to shave. And when you're, when you're, you know, your angel tells you to smarten up, you do it, right? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, please welcome the one and only Lillian Carrière. Bonsoir, Lillian. How are you, my darling? Oh, you're on mute. There you Hi, go. Hi, everyone. Hi, Andre. How are you? I'm awesome. <laughs> you are doing, awesome. I'm doing very well. Thank you. So you've got your little mascot there, Miss BB, is on your lap. Absolutely. Yes, Absolutely. we got a we've got our weekly uh, soup du jour coming up shortly after this uh, to give everybody right. some hope for the week. Uh, how are you? How have you been doing? I'm very good. Um, a little bit saddened uh, about the lockdown situation, but yep. uh, you know we're going to get through this. We are. But I saw you're waiting for the poke. You're going to get poked, aren't you? Hoped. Yeah, the needle. Yeah, don't yes. get your mind out of the I, gutter, Lillian. Come I on. I contacted now. the pharmacy and I'm waiting for um, a call back okay. to uh, get my first needle, one out of two uh, that's been ordered for us down here. That's Chocolate good. Walmart. Yes, which is, it's well, it's the way it should have been, right? Like uh, sign up oh. to your local shoppers, drug market, everybody's done, right? Absolutely. Uh, so I'm going to jump right into it and ask, how did you know you had a special gift uh, to be able to speak to others? Because you are part medium, correct? Yes. All right. So tell us. Um, for me, it's, I'm not sure whether to go really deep on that or just try to be on the lighter side. Um, there's different aspects and times in my life when I've known that I was different. Yep. Um, you know, as children, we all have these, quote, invisible friends. And um, for me, these invisible friends were, were always with me, constantly yep. with me. And I've had um, near-death experiences. Um, coming back from the trauma, I changed. Something in me changed. I was... Um, I think my first, if you look at my photo there, you'll see me with a uh, deck of cards in my hand and I'm talking to the cards. Yes. Um, yeah. So um, kind of like that little fairy tale belief, but um, this is a tough one. But I was hit uh, by a car and struck by lightning. I've had several close encounters and uh, each and every time, it changed, but I will say when the weather uh, gets rainy and stuff, because I was hit by lightning and lost seven years of my life, <laughs> uh, you know, um, a little traumatizing. It's changed me. It's had an effect. Like, yeah, I don't want. I don't want to go too deep on it. But okay. on the fun side, it's it's been great. I've had lovely tea parties as a child. Um, enjoyed playing cards. My family always played cards. Uh, every Sunday they would get together yep. and learned how to play cards from my mom. And from there I started talking to them and, and giving them symbols and names, of, you know, like you would have a teddy bear have a name. 
I know. So, very strange and far out. Yes. <laughs> We're going to get into a couple of questions. I am going to play your, uh, from where I sit in a, in a little bit, because it's a, I believe it's an eight minute video this week, uh, because I do have to end right at eight o'clock to make sure that the next show on BTR starts properly. Uh, but, uh, when uh, you started so many channels, uh, on social media, <laughs> even Reddit and, and a few other places. So why, what, what, why did you want to change the world? What, what are you doing? I, you know, I'm not trying to change the world. I, um, I just want to help other people. I've always enjoyed helping other people and doing yep. the best I can with what I have and sharing that knowledge and, and trying to teach or encourage. And, uh, you know, every day I'm a work in progress. I'm still, you know, nobody told me as a reader, as a medium, as a tarot card reader, yeah. that I would need to learn technology. And <laughs> so no. uh, on the journey to learning technology, I thought, what the heck? I'll open up a channel because I had all these videos from yep. Facebook. And I thought, I want to keep them because they're, they're treasures to me. So I started that. And then people asked if they could use the platform I use. And all of a sudden, bam, we have a YouTube channel. We have people signing up weekly shows it's been um you know a whole roller coaster I mean, and it's been great I because i've been someone who's just doing angel cards well <laughs> you see and that's how we met several years ago is that you uh i can't remember who referred me to oh you. we had uh, so many beautiful parties together andre we have we always, we have. always had fabulous decorations always the best yeah Oh, it's fun. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to play uh, from where I sit uh, this week's uh, affirmation. And then we're going to come back and talk after that. And we'll close off the show with you. How about that? Sounds great. Sounds good. All right. Uh, you are all in for a treat because here is from where I sit for this week. Enjoy, folks. Enjoy. Shake, shake, shake. Shake off the COVID cobwebs. Introducing DevotionDance.ca. Dance classes for anyone and everyone aged three to adult, beginner to intermediate. Our well-trained dance instructors will teach you the moves. Jazz, lyrical, contemporary, tap, hip-hop, ballet, musical theater, acro, and more. All classes offered in a gorgeous family-friendly dance studio located in Canada. DevotionDance.ca also offers incredible low mobility online fitness and dance for all ages. Competitive classes start in September. Develop confidence and coordination while creating everlasting memories. To find out more, boogie on over to DevotionDance.ca. Welcome to From Where I Sit, featuring Lillian Carrière. An enlightening and insightful journey to awaken insight into conscious living, personal growth, spirituality, love, and relationships, and other related topics. We hope you will be inspired and blessed by this journey. Grab a chair, sit with us. everyone and welcome to where I sit. I am here today. My name is Lillian Carrier. This is BB, my mascot for us today to cheer us up. Hopefully. I am here to bring you your soup du jour, your weekly card reading. Uh, this week I've chosen the Guardian Angel Tarot Oracle cards. And uh, I'm just going to give them a little shuffle and ask for the best possible soup du jour guidance for each and every individual here today. And so what's the soup du jour today, dear angels, spirits? Oh, wow, that one spoke. <laughs> well, I have here the messenger of thought. 
a new topic or intellectual project is really exciting for you. Wow. So some of you are going to be embarking, adventuring, adventuring into some new exciting projects. There's so much to learn before you are ready to move forward. Well, of course, we must search, research, dot the I's, cross the T's, and so much more. So definitely, there's so much to learn. New information may require some changes in your plans. Of course, when we are starting a new adventure, we start off with writing a paragraph, then rewriting that paragraph until it becomes exactly what we want it to be, what we're trying to put out there. And so checking and rechecking is part of what's going to be happening this week. New projects, more researching, making sure the I's are dotted, the T's are crossed. New information may require changes to your plans. Of course, as you learn, you're going to add more and more to these ideas until they become you, absolutely you. So review all documentations very carefully. Perhaps you're thinking of purchasing a new home or a car or investing in something. So there's also that aspect of things. Take, um, take time to read the fine print in anything that comes your way, including an opportunity for new employment as well, or creating your own business. Be sure that you go over the documents very carefully. So you know you will meet or someone who loves to learn and share knowledge. You may be that person who loves to share, learn, grow, evolve, teaching and growing in, in love and and to inspire yourself and others around you, of course, you could be that person or you may meet someone who is just as wonderful as this explains. So this person is brilliant and very truthful, but also very blunt and not diplomatic. Yes, we have our favorite friends in life who tell it like it is, uh, say things quite bluntly without thinking of the consequences. They speak before they think, and that, you know, they mean well, but it's, it's not what they say, it's the way they say it. It's so tacky. Sometimes the tactful, being on tactful requires us to hold back a little bit. So thinking before we speak or signing any contracts this week, uh, wonderful new projects on the way, researching, revamping everything, making sure that the plan is in action, wonderful people around you, or you are wonderful people, and we know you are. <laughs> so um, trying to be a little more diplomatic in one's approach. You can see this is a woman here. She is a very strong-minded, strong-willed person, very independent, very independent of herself, himself. <laughs> the cards really have no, no choice or chosen thing when it comes to, um, you know, whether we're male or female. So this, this holds male or female, definitely very strong-minded, very, very sharp, very sharp-witted, very very discerned, but also needs to be, one needs to be aware of being, uh, not being very tactful when it comes to an approach. So this week, please try to be a little more diplomatic and calmer in your approach. Avoid going wham and go meow instead. So I hope you've enjoyed that little reading. Thank you for joining me. My name is Lillian Carrier. And We'll see you next week. <laughs> Bye for now.
legend is coming. Please welcome Dean Wawi. Hello, BTR family. Is your hair getting bigger and bigger? Because mine is. And this queen can't put a wig on for now. But we'll get through this. And the only way I know how to do this is through music. And playing it with videos on Twitch. You can watch me and the music videos for free. Head to Blast the Radio or Diversity in the Capital Twitch pages to watch and chat with the online BTR Twitch fam while we have a drink and dance to the good old days. Have a smart speaker? Ask it to play Blast the Radio and you can hear me live. There's also the old fashioned way of going to blasttheradio.com and click on listen live. Take care of each other, Ottawa Gatno, and we'll see you soon. Sundays just got better. Dust off your platform shoes and grab a beverage. 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 BTR's Capital Queer Tea Dance with DJ D. Wawi. And it's also sponsored by uh, Angelic Empowerment International, Miss Lillian. So thank you so much. Uh, I didn't time myself properly, and I'm a minute over already, but uh, I appreciate you being here. Please go to Lillian's uh, From Where I Sit uh, YouTube page, as well as uh, many other Angelic Empowerment International, youareempowering.com. Please uh, check out Lillian. She's here every week, so girl, we'll get you on on, on another show, and we'll talk to you even more. How about that? Uh, it would be an honor and a pleasure, as always. Thank you for uh, having me so much, Andre. I appreciate you being here, and, and I can't wait to keep working and helping you and growing uh, our community. So thank you, Ottawa Gadno. Thank you, Lillian. Thank you, Kara. Thank you, Shady B. And G, uh, please stay tuned on BTR uh, for what she said coming up right now. We'll see you on Sunday, y'all. Bye, Lillian. Bye.